America's Muscle Car Showdown hits 200 miles an hour as Dodge ups the power of its 2008 Viper to 600 bloodthirsty ponies with a new V10 aimed squarely at the mighty Corvette Z06. And we're in Texas to let her rip. The secret behind the extra 90 horsepower Dodge's engineer stuffed into the Viper this year is its larger displacement, up from 8.3 to 8.4 liters, plus higher compression, new cylinder heads, variable valve timing, and higher flow intake and exhaust manifolds. Not only does the new exhaust sound better, it helps increase torque from 500 to 560 pound-feet, which makes doing mile-long burnouts even easier. Other than the blistering new snakeskin green color, it doesn't look like the 2008 Viper has changed much from last year's model. But get closer and you'll notice the new wheel design and a more aggressive shape to the hood that includes extra air vents for extracting heat as well as adding downforce as you speed into the triple digits. Harnessing all that power takes a strong driveline and the 2008 Viper benefits from a beefed up six-speed gearbox, shorter throw shifter, and new twin plate clutch. The suspension system has likewise been fortified with revalve shock absorbers, slightly stiffer springs, and greater negative camber alignment to put more rubber on the road in corners. In fact, the 3,500 pound Super Snake will pull a full G of lateral grip. Back in the original muscle car era, all that mattered was straight line acceleration. And a 440 Magnum powered Dodge Challenger like this one from my collection was one of the quickest cars you could buy. But the 1970 Challenger is no match for today's hottest Mopar, as the Viper blasts 0 to 60 in a mind warping 3.5 seconds. Keep the hammer down, and the mean green snake pulverizes the quarter mile in 11.6 seconds at 125 miles an hour. Compared to the quickest Corvette made today, the 505 horsepower Z06, the Viper wins both 0 to 60 and the quarter mile by two tenths of a second each. Find a deserted road and hang on, because this is a V10 thrill ride. And with its manufacturer certified top speed of 202 miles an hour, the new Viper Coupe is the leader in terminal velocity as well, making it four miles an hour faster than the Z06. This is as green as I'm going to get. And if open air driving is your kind of style, just drop the top and the Viper Roadster delivers 197 miles an hour of topless fun. And for those times when you're not tearing up the tarmac, the new Viper delivers enough comfort to tackle the daily commute. The cockpit is tight, especially in headroom, but the deeply contoured leather bucket seats provide comfort as well as grip. And thanks to adjustable pedals, all but the tallest drivers can find a position that fits. Although the new Viper's base price of just over $86,000 doesn't exactly put this in economy car territory, it does make this mean Mopar the least expensive 600 horsepower car on the market. And that's worthy of a tire smoking celebration.